Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The robot is mimicking. He doesn't have all the same movements that you can achieve. He can't get his hands that high above his head. But this is being uh, picked up right now by the Kinect. Yeah. Yeah, you see it if you have a look here. You see this is your Kinect data coming. And he's basically taking these joint angles, mapping them to the robot's body space. Thespian is, uh, is kind of old English word. Actor. Actor, yeah. Okay. Um, so it's designed as a communication interface. So it's another way of accessing your data. So have a look. Uh, here also supports uh, speech recognition. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to just stop him copying down there. Uh, this robot is called Reginald. Oh, they have names. Yeah. Hello, Reginald. Hi, that's me. So what do you want to do? Play Hamlet. Do you want me to play Hamlet? Yes, please. To be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of our pages, or to take arms against a sea of trust, and by opposing, end them to die. What do you reckon to the bed? Do you want another impression? No, thank you. Okay, let's do something else. So what do you want to do? Repeat after me. Okay, I am ready. Hello, Reginald Robot. What kind of machine are you? Yeah. Your mum is a what? <laughs> okay, give me another. Hello, Reginald Robot. Hello, Reginald Robot. Okay, give me another. What kind of machine are you? Work, I dance machine, you. This is very repetitive. Let's do something else. So what do you want to do? Let's do some sums. Okay, give me your best shot. Uh, what's the square root of 9,783? 470.40 with a possible margin of error being about 17,857. Easy peasy, more. <laughs> you, know, you seem pretty smart, so let's make your own IQ. 269.36 with a possible margin of error being about 80,516. Easy peasy, more. Okay, if you're so smart, 2 plus 2? 117.35 with a possible margin of error being about 14,029. That's three times by my calculations. Let's not wear my logic circuits out. So what do you want to do? Play singing in the rain. Do you want me to play Singing in the Rain? Yes, please. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Yeah, you can have what a glorious feeling. Yeah, you can have to do stuff like that. Happy yeah. again. I'm laughing in a cloud. So dark up above. The sun's in my heart. And I'm ready for love. <laughs> what do you reckon to the bin? Yeah. Do you want another impression? Okay, one more. Let's have play taxi driver. Please say yes or no. Oh, uh, yes. Play taxi driver. What do you want me to play? Taxi driver. You want to hear a taxi driver, is that right? Yes, please. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Then who the hell else are you talking to? Were you talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. What do you reckon to the bed? Do you want another impression? Okay, one more. Uh, play Jaws. Please say yes or no. Yes. Play. What do you want me to play? Jaws. You want to hear Jaws, is that right? Yes, please. Sometimes that shaggy looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark? The lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a doll's eyes. When he comes at you, 
doesn't seem to be living till he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white. And you hear, the, oh, that terrible high-pitched screaming. The ocean turns red. In spite of all the pounding and hollering, they all come in. Repeated pieces. What do you reckon to the bed? Okay, so that's a demonstration of uh, using speech recognition. Uh, he's recalling some preset routines and trying to make sense of some simple commands that you give him. Uh, so, so, the, so the product is essentially it's hardware, software. It's hardware, software. The the software is uh, the API, the programming interface is open. So if oh, you have yeah. your own application idea that you want to put on top of this, uh, you can interface your own software to it. So is a uh, Robo Thespian? Is it ready to go? Is it? Are they shipping? Yeah, they're shipping. Uh, we just shipped one uh, to NASA for KSC, uh, Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, so NASA are using it as a, a kind of tour guide to KSC, and it's uh, introducing stuff about Hubble Space Telescope, uh, James Watt Telescope is coming up. Uh, where was this developed? Uh, so this is from the UK. Uh, we're about 300 miles from London, small company. Uh, it's been in development five years. Uh, this is the third generation, uh, and it's really the first one that we feel ready to actually deploy. Uh, the second generation, I think we installed around seven. Uh, there's, there is one of those at um, Carnegie Science Center in the U.S. in Pittsburgh, uh, and the others are in Europe mainly. Uh, so you know, this kind, we currently have. I think about 15 installed around the world, Australia, Asia, Europe, the US, um, and we got another 20 in production now, so I think I just sold about six of those, so rush now. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Well, this is one of the first, I guess, uh, robots that are like, uh, what would yeah. you... Uh, it, it's an entertainment robot, yeah, but yeah. If, if you think of it, it's... Well, a, Thespian is kind of a, a giveaway. Yeah. Okay, so he's, he's never going to vacuum your floor. He's not going to wash the dishes. He isn't going to do anything useful around your home. But it's a really good way to communicate. If you want to get some information across, you've got data, something to communicate to people, it's much more interesting to have a robot give that information, interact with people, than to do it through a flat screen. And the programming interface, you say, is open? Yeah, the programming interface, the API is open. So there's a XML interface, you can send simple commands, you can also do it uh, URL encoded. Uh, the built-in interface will run through any web browser, so platform independent, you can, you can control it from anywhere. Uh, except your iPhone. <laughs> no iPhones, though. Yeah, well, it uses Flash. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough, for now. That's pretty wild. It's definitely one of the more interactive uh, exhibits I've seen here at CBIT. So here I can show you, this is a simple place where you can make your own robot composition. So we have 10 empty slots here. So this uh, is how you would program, say, a speech from Shakespeare or a song? Yeah, we tend to, we use a virtual uh, 3D programming environment for that. So uh, right here you see this is a virtual model with three robots. Uh, this is done in Blender, which is open source sure, 3D, 3D soft, yep. software. Uh, so basically, you animate your Blender models, uh, that links real-time to your robots, and they follow whatever you do on screen. So you can also do it offline, so you don't have to have the robot there in front of you. You can animate these. When you connect to the robot, he'll copy that. You can download the program, and he knows that forevermore. So for, for complicated stuff, that's what we tend to use. Okay. Uh, we include that spun with the robots. Uh, for a very simple, quick stuff, if you just want to have him... Okay, oh. points over this way. Uh, what's your name? Chris. Chris. So he says, hi, Chris. Good luck typing sideways. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah you may have to stand right up here. front. Yeah. You can use an ordinary keyboard for this, too. Sure. But... Well, for uh, display purposes, it's probably best that it's just a kiosk. Yeah. 
So uh, I can add that into a sort of timeline. Actually, I'm going to have him play hello to you. Uh, so I'll just play that. And then you run it. And I then press hello you. Yeah, so, no, just wave. so that's a that's a way of creating a quick uh, uh, routine. You can then uh, you can take these routines. Uh, you can add head movement, eye expressions. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. So the, are those OLED screens in his eyes, or they're just... not OLED? They're uh, regular, just LCD. Okay. Uh, we have been looking for an OLED one, but uh, they're not really commercially available yet. You see them in products, but you don't see them to buy individually. Um, the, uh, yeah, he has two processors in his head. Uh, Is that where he's fully controlled from his uh, head? Or? In fact, he has uh, uh, Intel Atom 1.6. Really? That's what he's driven on, an Atom processor? Yeah, yeah. Wow. runs the whole thing. Dan here is uh, chief software architect responsible for making software so efficient it can run on that. Dan, is it? <laughs> I'd say it's pretty impressive for even 10 years worth of work, let alone five. Wow. 